watching Bagger Brothers, and this is the Seco Hokkaido Japan. Woo! What's up everybody, I'm Marco, you're watching Vagga Brothers, and right now I'm in the home of the world's best powder snowboarding, Hokkaido, Japan. I am so stoked. I have just come all the way from California to the northernmost island of Japan, Hokkaido. My friends and I from the college UCLA ski and snowboard team are having a giant reunion here. We came all the way out here because this part of Japan has some of the best powder in the world. It's only 1,300 meters high here. It's not a gigantic mountain. But the thing is that the powder here is very, very soft. It seems to fall about 15 centimeters a day. And even though it's right next to the ocean, it's still very, very dry. Combine it with beautiful natural hot springs, tons of great food, and beautiful nature, and we have one of the best ski destinations in the world. This is my buddy Chucky, also known as... What's going on? Black Falcon here, live in Japan. Are you stoked on this trip? Very stoked. How stoked? How Ready. stoked are you? I am feeling great. Stoked, day one, get some powder. First time in Niseko. <laughs> <laughs> all of us have the Icon Pass. This is a ski and snowboard pass that works on all different mountains around the world. The Mountain Collective Pass also works here. We can go snowboarding for free on the Icon Pass here. We redeemed our passes for a local ski pass, and now it's time to hit the mountain. This is so nuts! This is beautiful, beautiful powder. Oh, wow. Yeah, not bad for a first day. difference from here and back in California is in California we have these big pine trees. Okay, so a couple runs in so far. This is amazing. There are tons of back, like kind of like powder runs that you can do. And we haven't even got the top of the mountain where all the gates are, right? Natural terrain galore with more to come. Good stuff, soft snow, nice trees. Nice. Fantastic day. You. So we just stopped for a lunch break. So far everything has been super good. This powder is incredible and the mountain is gigantic and we haven't even really touched the back country. But still here on the resort, there's tons of tree runs and there's tons of powder and it's, rain it's gonna be snowing all week. We have five days of snow ahead of us, so. We're in search of Inseco's famous powder. We're going through a gate, which basically allows you to go off backcountry, and there's fewer people, and the farther you walk from the gate, the better it is. So as they say, you have to earn your turns, and we're going on a hike, to hopefully get some fresh power. All right, time to drop. Oh yeah. Oh. Woo. oh whoa. So nice. These are like big open fields. Oh yeah, oh yeah, qui me disait pour propager les nouvelles. Un coup de décibel, on me détruit la cervelle. Le rappeur d'aujourd'hui est un crieur public. Dénonçant les injustices qu'il a souffert aux mains des flics. Je ne peux pas écouter son flux de paroles inutiles. C'est de la diarrhée verbale, un exercice futile. Il veut qu'on l'appelle un rebelle sans cause. Il ne représente que la pauvreté de sa prose. Son mal d'être revient de son mal d'avoir. Circuler, messieurs, dames, il n'y a rien à voir. L'économie des mots est une vertu négligée. C'est une question de poids, non de quantité. What 
you think? All time. Yeah. Lives up, lives up to the name, lives up to the hype. People, we can't even walk, we're too happy. Yeah. We just have to sit and talk about it. Like, yeah. What makes the snow so good here? Just the moisture content, all the cold air masses that pass over from the Japan Sea and from Siberia, just make for perfect conditions for it to just absolutely dump here in the Seiko. So the hotel I'm staying in is really cool. It's what's known in Japan as a capsule hotel, which is when you stay in a capsule in a room full of other people of the same gender. So this is my capsule. It's not super big. It's just pretty much a bed, TV, some storage space down below. Uh, but at only 70 bucks a night, it's about um, a quarter of the price of getting a hotel room in like a, one of the bigger hotels. You have a lot of common areas, common lounge area. There is, like I said, a hot spring called an onsen. That's all included, plus breakfast. Not a bad way to go, especially if you're a solo traveler. It's dinner time, and I'm waiting for the bus. Shit, that was it. Damn it. Ugh. the evening. I'm in downtown Niseko and now this is a town that has a ton of different people mostly from Australia and New Zealand. A lot of expats from Canada as well. Um, so there's a huge international influence here but for dinner we're gonna do something more traditional. Uh, my friend Chucky and his group have rented out a restaurant, a Japanese restaurant, and so it's time to have some dinner and experience some of the local culture. Good times, good times. No. How was today? Uh, Amazing. Um, anybody else order a hot tea? Amazing. We explored Rizutsu, which has all together different terrain uh, compared to Naseko. A lot more trees, what I like to describe as nooks and crannies of the mountain. Just little drops, side hits. It was amazing. Sake and Sapporos. Cheers. What was the word? Kanpai. Kanpai. Chucky, where's the next spot? The next spot is going to be a very relaxing and surprise spot. It's a bar situated in sort of like a bunker element. We're gonna go into a refrigerator door. It's called the ice bar. Pretty rad. <laughs> That's a very long way of saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's very, very cozy, and there's these big windows looking out into the snow, and the drinks are great. They're basically LA prices, like 15 bucks a cocktail. It's not cheap. Great music, a whole vinyl collection, whiskey bottles on the wall, and overall, excellent vibrations. So it's another day here at Niseko and it continues to dump. It snowed all night. I think this is one of the reasons why so many people come out here because if you plan a trip in January or February, you are pretty much guaranteed to get powder. That's why they call it Japao. Just snows so much here. We are so close to Siberia and it's very consistent. Today, a lot of the mountain is closed down because there is so much snow. I think they need to clear some avalanches out of the top. But uh, some of my friends have gone to another resort which might be more open. But we're gonna go hit the top of the mountain and see what's open and what we can get into. By the way, I'm super stoked on the board that I picked up. I got a Burton bottom feeder. It's 150 centimeters long. It's designed specifically for powder. 
It's got a big nose in the front, short tail, and the nose is kind of elevated with some rockers so that you can go through the powder without doing a nose dive like you do on, on a kind of a twin tip board. It's my first time upgrading my board in a while, and the folks at Burton Santa Monica were super cool with helping me get set up on the right stick that's specifically designed for this type of powder snowboarding. Actually, a hike you can do up here to get to gate four and five, which let you into the back country uh, in the back side of the mountain. So it's gonna be a bit of a hike, but then I should get some fresh tracks, and then have to hike out at the end. But you know, you gotta earn your turns, especially here. So let's go. Dimanche Galvi, bulle d'oxygène de la semaine. Oh, is it Ryan Torres? Yeah. Marco, Ailey. Hey, Marco. Yo, small world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mark. What up, buddy? How are you? <laughs> you actually can't see where you're going. You have to stop periodically unless your powder storm died down. I can't see right now. Whoa! Dimanche, pas de douche, je plonge dans le bain. Détendu, j'évacue le stress accumulé au turbin. Affiche un look louche, kiffe une touche de musique douce. Le soir, débouche une bonne bouteille, joue les fines bouches. Dimanche, réveille sans réveil, je me lève tard. Je sais bien ma tronche, n'a rien à voir avec mon avatar. Dimanche, il est chez le boulanger, pas coiffé, pas douché. Le frigo vide, il faut bien ranger. Dimanche, pas de quête, pas la vie sous sieste, vous t'es câlin, bon bon. Okay, well, it's snowing so much that they have closed down the entire mountain, but that's not a problem because here in the village of Niseko is a place that I've been curious about visiting for a long time. Behind me is the shaping room of Gentem Stick. This is a company whose shapes of snowboards have revolutionized the snowboarding world unlike any other company in recent history. The shaper behind this company has created boards that combine surfing and snowboarding to tackle powder unlike any other boards on the mountains. So I'm gonna go inside and find the man behind the shapes and learn what makes his boards so unique. For the last 25 years, Gentem Stick has brought the best of Japanese craftsmanship to snowboarding. Founder Taro Tamai shapes wooden snow surfboards that recall the retro surf designs of the 1970s. Wide noses, swallowtails, lengths long and short. Browsing their showroom was an excellent way to wait until conditions improved enough to get back on the mountain. is packed in. There is only one lift open on the mountain. This is it. It's a total wide out, but there is a ton of powder. This place is called Strawberry Field. Wow, what an incredible week here in Niseko. I had great snow, great friends, and amazing local culture as well. So if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, add any comments of your own. If you have questions about Niseko, if you've been here, if you've got some tips, put those down below in the comment section. Subscribe to Vag Brothers if not already. Also subscribe to my personal channel, Marco Ailing, and that of my brothers, Alex the Vagabond. Got links down below to both channels. And as always, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Peace.